Good morning, you guys. Debbie Lively. Welcome uh, to Cape Coast, Ghana, Africa. That's where I am. I'm sitting out in front of uh, the place where we're renting. I'm gonna spin the camera around just a bit so you guys can see kind of where we are. Um, we've been here a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see the house. So this is the house. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, okay, so that's the house where we're staying. We're in a unit on the right, and the other unit is the owner. And then that is the boys' quarters of the house. That's the guy who takes care of the house where he stays. We've been taken care of very, very well since we've been here. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about where we are so you have some bearings and know where we are. But you know, with you guys today, sorry, everything is like shaking. Today, I wanted to talk with you guys about what it feels like uh, on the African or anyone who has African DNA, what it feels like to your body being here in this country. You know, I've talked, shown some videos about, you know, different sceneries and different things uh, of how it looks, but I haven't really talked about what it actually feels like on your body because I'm a very spiritual, very uh, frequency-based person, I would say. So I'm really into like how things feel um, and that sort of thing. Uh, so the, the caretaker, the guy who is, hi, Gwen. He's here. Um, so at any rate, ooh, what happened there? Ooh, I'm not sure with my phone. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about what it feels like. You know, I think I've mentioned like, you know, you know, let me start at the beginning. So here it is. The metaphor I would use in terms of how I, as a black woman of African DNA, feel in this country, I feel like I'm a plant rooted in the right soil. That is what I would say. Um, I'll just watch it Kwame just, <laughs> this guy is so hard working, I'm gonna show you guys. That's him right there. <laughs> He's so hard working. He is like always doing stuff around this house. At any rate, so what I have to say is I feel like I'm a plant rooted in the right soil. You know, like if you take a plant out of this indigenous environment, right? It needs, it needs certain nutrients to be able to grow, right? And I feel like when you come here, you'll feel all of the things that you've been missing. You'll feel a lot of, you know, like the air and the earth and uh, the trees, the oxygen that you get, the level of oxygen that you get here. You just, when you feel, when you come here and, and if you're a physically kinetic person, you will realize, wow, this is the sort of environment that my body resonates best with. That's what I would say. Like when you come here, you feel like you know what you've been missing. Like, you know, you're supposed to have a certain level of oxygen. You're supposed to have a certain level of nutrients. You're supposed to have a certain number of uh, time or hours in the sun. And you feel that. So, you know, like I said, the metaphor I use is that you feel like a plant that has finally found the right dirt that it's supposed to grow in. That is what I would say. You feel like you are a plant that has found your rightful dirt that has the right mixture of nutrients in the sand and the dirt that it needs to do its best. It needs to thrive and do its best. That is how I feel. It's like my hair just feels different. My skin looks different. My body feels different. You just feel nurtured in a way. And I'm not trying to be too uh, idealistic or too, um, you know, utopic about what it feels like to be here but i'm just i'm just talking about it and I always i've said that africa has its issues i'm just talking about it from a biological standpoint when you come here your body resonates if you're african dna your body resonates with this environment and you feel that through your hair and your skin and how you breathe um so a lot of us who are ill in the u.s it's because we're just not in the right environment. You know, our bodies weren't built for that environment. Our bodies weren't built for the snow. Our body wasn't built for all of those extreme uh, 
uh, seasons. You know, we, when you come here, you feel like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be physically and biologically. Physically and biologically, you feel that way. Um, so I would say, you know, you guys, I also want to mention the water too. Now, now here, I'm drinking this water and this is called Slim Fit, right? Now I had an epiphany the other day. Most of their water is, they refer to it as mineral water and this is the one I'm drinking. But I'm gonna tell you what's in this water. It has magnesium, it has calcium, it has nitrates, it has uh, biocarbonates, it has chloride, sulfate, uh, potassium, iron, it has all these things in just an average bottle of water. We don't get this in the US. And if you get it, you gotta pay. You gotta pay for it, right? But their average water has all of these things in it. So when I say all that to say, I'm trying to you know, make all of this make sense, is that when you come here, you get, you find that a lot of us are sick because one, we're not in the right environment. Two, we're just not getting the nutrients, daily nutrients and basic things like our water. We're just not getting that because we're just not getting it, you guys. And it's hard for me to explain this to a point where you guys honestly understand what I'm saying. It's just one of those things that you have to come and you have to feel and you have to sit. You gotta be under the sun. You have to be under the raw, which is the sun, to understand, fully understand what I'm saying. So I say, I make this video to say that black people, we're not in our right environment. And when you come here, you feel that. And like I said, Africa has a lot of challenges, but the thing is going to make me come back here is the very thing that I'm explaining to you right now. I could be my healthiest self in this environment. You know, and I'm, a, I'm kind of a nutrient holistic fanatic. You know, I really am. Um, a lot of people tell, you know, say that I drink, you know, I, I do all kinds of things to feel good because it's so important to feel good. Because if you don't feel good, you can't do good. You can't do anything. So I will say that coming to Africa, you can be, or I'm, I'm gonna speak for myself, I can be my healthiest self. I know I can come here and probably live a very, very long life because I'm getting so much of what I need. Where in the, whereas in the US, I'm struggling for, you know, I've gotta take all of these vitamins, I gotta do all these things to keep myself healthy. Whereas here, just by eating and drinking the water and coming out and breathing the air and seeing all of this nature that's around us, just keeps you healthy. So I say for black people, if you move here, to move here, you could be your healthiest self if that's something that's important to you. And that's important to me. So that would be the driving force for me moving here. And you know, and I'm serious, seriously thinking about moving here, or at least, you know, spending a significant part of the year and my life here, right? Because I really believe that this is some place where I could be my healthiest self. So that's all I wanted to come and share with you guys. Um, okay, a shame. I'll talk to you guys next time. All right.